You there? You there? You there? You there? Hey, family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Opolo Tivasti Solutions. To the new viewers, you are most welcome to this channel. Kindly support us by subscribing and hitting that subscription button, hitting the not notification bell. Just in case we upload anything new, we can always uh, keep you up to date. You can always be notified once you press that uh, notification button. And to the old returning viewers, subscribers, always respect and much love. Thank you so much. Let's hit into this video right away. See you. And in this video, we're going to be looking at this, this Dell Latitude 3390 2-in-1 laptop. And uh, we're going to focus on uh, upgrade options. It's an all-in-one laptop, which is a 360 foldable laptop. So it can work as a tab, a tablet also work as a laptop so this is its keyboard and uh, this is its screen so it, it changes to tablet mode and uh, laptop mode to you who enjoys slick, uh, fancy machines with this design light this is a machine for you because it's uh, a 360 degrees laptop can fold and then turns into a tablet so you can use it any way you want so it's quite a good one as you may see it can uh, support you the way you want uh, it, it, it always comes with a, a smaller sized hard drive which is like uh, 120 GB so in this video we're going to focus on uh, upgrading it's a uh, but like for example upgrading the hard drive upgrading the ram upgrading each and everything that you want we want so let's dig in and start doing the upgrade so we're going to focus on the dis disassembly and then we assembly trying to ch change parts uh entailed in this laptop so let's join in as we go it's always best practice to always shut down the computer so let's start by shutting it down since it's a touch screen, let's shut the down, shut down, shut down. So as you can see, it is shutting down. So after shutting down, we can look for our Phillips screwdriver just to open up the screws that we have here. So let's focus on opening the screws. It has a uh, one, two three four five six seven eight nine screws that we have to unscrew so let's start right away by unscrewing this at the bottom of the laptop on the side of the cover so it gets two three four with the next five Go to the next six. Next is seven, eight, and finally nine. So after that, we get our prayer tool and then pass it through the cover to ensure that we flip open the cover just like this it round pass it round so this is our cover and this is how the inside looks 
so before we do anything we need to disconnect off the we need to disconnect off the inner battery so let's get it off by removing this and disconnecting it from the motherboard of the motherboard so if we are to look into the interior we have uh, we have here the internal battery which is connected directly to the uh, motherboard using uh, this connection wire then here we have uh, the RAM chip which is uh, the DDR4 and uh, it's, it's supposed to only DDR4 or DIM M1 so it, 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 it has two ports which is uh, port number one here and then there is also port number two here then on uh, this other side there is uh, the cooling system which is uh, connected directly to the cooling fan which is connected uh, through which runs through the pipes and then provides the aeration onto the processor so moving on we have uh, this side here we have the wireless card which is connected directly using the wireless cables that run to the antenna which antenna is connected onto the screen side so moving on we have uh, the CMOS battery here then we have the hard drive which is the hard disk connected here it uh, supports both H actually it's a uh, it, it's a slot of uh, HDD and so in case you need to upgrade you can always upgrade if you want to upgrade the uh, change the hard drive this is its connector you can just get it off and then reconnect it back yeah then uh, yeah I think that's that for this interior so in case you want to change the speakers as well it has the speakers connected it has two double speakers which is connected one and two so these are the two speakers so that's how the interior look, the interior looks like and uh, putting it back you have to do the same just uh, put the cover put the cover back in its normal position press it a little down press, press it down so that the locks can so that you can hear the locks So if we're to put back the screws, we need to put back the screws very well and very neatly into the uh, holds, into the fitting holds. And remember there are nine screws, so we need to fit them back. And uh, let's do this right away. So I'll start by this one. Start with this one. Go to the second one. Third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one. Eighth one, and nine, which is number nine here. So, let's try to fit them in properly.
let's try to power it back on and see how it behaves unlike other laptops this one has its power button here at the sides or at the edges like for example this one has its power battery here at this extreme end so let's try powering it on you just press that power button so it will give you that Dell display as you can see it's starting up it will give you that Dell logo which looks exactly and this is its desktop so it's a pretty good laptop for you who like slick fancy uh, light laptops for your home use school anything it's a good one i recommend and thank you for watching this video see you soon cheers